What is up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make free YouTube thumbnails without having to pay for any expensive program like Photoshop. So if you guys do find this video helpful, make sure to drop a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn post notifications so you guys won't miss out on any future videos I post. Now with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right guys, so the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and click on the first link in the description and it's gonna take you to Pixlr Editor. Once you're on this page, go ahead and click on create a new image. And the next thing you wanna do is under presets, go all the way down to where it says movie 720, go ahead and click on that. And then go ahead and check transparent, go ahead and click OK. And now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a background to our thumbnail. Now if you guys wanna use the same background I'm gonna use, I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you guys can download it. So in order to open up an image in Pixlr, which you wanna do is go ahead and click on layer. Open image as layer and go ahead and click on your background. So this is my background right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our text. So we're gonna go ahead and type how to make thumbnails. Uh, go ahead and click on the text tool and then just go ahead and click over here. Now for the font, we're gonna use American Captain. That's one of my favorite fonts to use for thumbnails and uh, stuff like that. So if you guys don't have this uh, font, uh, I do have a video on how to download free fonts into Pixlr or into your computer. So if you guys wanna go ahead and check that out, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Now, once you have selected a font that you want to use, uh, go ahead and select it. And then for the size, we're going to max it out. And for the color, we're going to change it to white. Go ahead and click OK. And we're going to go ahead and type how to. And click OK. And you guys can see that our text is not that big. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, so in order to do that, go ahead and go to layer. Rasterize layer. And then we're going to go to edit. Free transform. And you guys can see these little squares around your text. So what you want to do is make sure you hold shift and then go ahead and resize. So I think we're going to make it that big and then go ahead and click enter. And we're going to go ahead and move it to the top. And now we're going to go ahead and type make. And for some reason, uh, your text might not show up right here. So you got to bring it down from up here. As you can see, it's right here. And we're gonna change the color to white. Click OK. And click OK. And we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, layer. Rasterize layer. Edit. Free transform. Go ahead and hold Shift. And then go ahead and resize it. Uh, I think that's good right there. Go ahead and click Enter. And then we're gonna go ahead and type thumbnails. Drag it down. Change it to white, click OK, and go ahead and click OK. And we're going to go ahead and go to layer, rasterize layer, edit, free transform. Make sure you hold shift and I think that's good right there. Click enter. All right, so once you're done slicing up your text, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add some outlines and like color to our text. So in order to do that, what you wanna do is go ahead and on the first one, on how, we're gonna go ahead and right click, layer styles, and we're gonna go ahead and add in outer glow, make the hardness to 10, size, we're gonna probably bring it to 10 as well. And we're gonna change the color to black. Click OK. Actually, we're just gonna add a drop shadow and bring it down to 45. And the distance is pretty good right there. Go ahead and click OK. And then for a thumbnail, we're gonna do the same thing. Layer styles, uh, drop shadow, bring it to 45. And now we're going to go ahead and add a YouTube image. So you could just go to Google, type in YouTube logo PNG, and you should be able to get the image that I have. Uh, so in order to open it up, go to layer, open image as layer, and go ahead and open up the YouTube logo. And we're going to make it a little bit smaller. So we're going to go ahead and go to layer, rasterize layer, edit, free transform. Make sure you hold shift, make it a little bit smaller. And we're going to tilt it a little bit. I think that looks pretty good right there. Click enter. And we're going to go ahead and go to layer styles. 
Drop Shadow, Outer Glow, bring the Harness to 10, and we're going to make it white. And once you're done with your thumbnail and you think it looks good, in order to save it, you go to File, Save, and then make sure you bring the quality up to 100. And go ahead and click OK. Name it whatever you guys want and go ahead and click Save. And there is how you make a free YouTube thumbnail for your videos. Hopefully you guys did find this video helpful. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.